Anyway, hi, welcome back to Arsenic and Espresso, a podcast where we sometimes talk about. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. Let's go again. Hello. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Good. good. Super. All right. It is late. Welcome back to Arsenic and Espresso, a podcast where we sometimes drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. Right. We are reacting to... We're just jumping straight in. We're just going to jump straight into this. Um... So today is August 1st. We're recording a few things today. Oceans of Slumber yesterday released a new video, and so we are going to react to that video. Yep. We were looking yep. up another video of theirs that we were suggested we should react to, mm -hmm. um, and then we saw that this was dropped yesterday, so we said, why Let's not? Let's watch that so one. We have no idea what's going on, but we're going to react to it, and we're going to upload it, and you guys might enjoy it. it so we is. are reacting to Oceans of Slumber, The Colors of Grace. Right. I'm very excited for this. All right. Let's go for it. Here we go. Day is a hurting day. Oh, I forgot this sound. No room for anything other than Staying a failure and regret The season needs to change, but hasn't yet Patience turned into pain has a very country vibe it like does. very country and i already know like i know that they say the like sound, yeah. yeah but it is way more country way more like blues rock sound mm -hmm. keep talking no it's just a way more like blues sound than i anticipated mm -hmm. um definitely and i mean i still haven't i haven't listened to anything other than strange fruit and so i st like i just still don't know what to expect with them at all yeah. so yeah. yeah it's just way more bluesy i, I don't hate it do like um that we're seeing a lot more of her vocal range in this song mm -hmm. right um, yes which i'm stoked for because i'm guessing this isn't a cover um of anything I'm guessing this is mm -hmm. um but yeah Like his voice is very like traditionally '90s rock band sound, yeah. like yep, like Counting Crows type sound. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, I was actually gonna find out who. Okay, yeah. So, so the dude is Mick Moss from Antimatter. I have no idea what that means. Uh, probably a band we should check out too. But um, if you think so, let us know. 
Like I said, he has kind of that like Counting Crows and it, like I'm not saying that it sounds the same as Counting Crows, but it just reminds me of that. But like their um their duet reminds me of Broken by Seether featuring Amy Lee. Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah. reminds me of that a lot. It, yeah, a lot of those vibes. Antimatter is a UK dark rock band. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. It's a project of the longtime member Mick Moss. Founded in 1997. Da, 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 da. Um, their genres are goth rock, progressive rock, dark ambient, and trip hop. Cool. So uh, keep going. Continue. just has a 90s rock vibe yeah yes like that like the the that like kind of country sound to it in the beginning with the grungier guitar there yeah. at the end um the way their duet goes his vocals like are so traditional like 90s rock dude vocals yeah um it's a definitely a change up from what we're used to reacting oh, to. Oh, it's on a major show. change up. Um, I do want to talk lyrics right off the bat. Well, everything that's coming up is like Hill Song United. I'm like, that's that's not, not it. what I'm looking for. That's not um it. what does it say in the bio of the video? I wanna know if uh, it says anything. Oh, it says this song was taken from the album Oceans of Slumber Slumber out September fourth, twenty twenty. It is their if I remember correctly, their fourth studio length album Oh, that's right and so this is their self-titled album yeah i'm kind of bummed that i can't find the lyrics anywhere um i want to listen to more of their stuff i i i still don't feel like i have a good grasp of since this was a collab song i still don't yeah. feel like i know what the band does yet yeah. um but i i feel like they nailed it right like i feel like yeah. their their voices complement each other really well like you said pairing pairing it to see their and amy yeah um right that traditional rock voice um from a male perspective yeah and then against a dynamic female voice yeah um i'm still excited to see what more she can do um yeah. and i know we'll have to check out that video that i kind of just want to pull up the other one yeah yeah do it and we can we can end this one here but okay i want to go ahead and pull up the one that was suggested cool. so thank you for watching yep. um It'll probably be back to back. Cool.